Day two of the Hopkinton Special Town Meeting started off with discussion of Article 2. The article gave the Elementary School Building Committee permission for an additional $1.5 million to add on four more classrooms. The Appropriations Committee and Capital Improvements Committee recommended approval. Uh, we were not going to get any additional MSBA funding um, unless we started this whole process over again and the amount we would may get from them would not even cover the cost of going through this process again. By doing it now, um, we have the efficiency that we're already in the process, everything's there, they're ready to pour the concrete, so you're just going to have eventual cost savings there. Also, the fact that this uh, funding will, f or the borrowing, will fall within the levy limit, meaning by approving tonight, uh, we're not going to have a ballot or debt exclusion, I'm sorry, a, a ballot uh, in a couple of weeks or months. So by approving it today, they can essentially start the process tomorrow to go through with it. So um, given that, we, we recommend this article. There was not too much debate about the article, but one resident asked why only four classrooms. And so I don't understand if we're going to take a building that is brand new, which is always easier to change in the construction phase, why we aren't going for the eight classrooms and another 28 feet. I've heard people say, if we have to do this in the future, and we probably will because the town is not going to stop growing. That's a fact of life. If we can't fill the other four classrooms, the fact that we can't fill them for another 10 years doesn't make any sense at this juncture. Um, what you can fully expect uh, going down the road is this little bubble at the center school is going to affect Elmwood School, it's going to affect Hopkins School, it's going to affect the high school. People like me will be back before people like you asking for more money for them, before we need it for this. So we just want to be fiscally responsible. You're right, it would be cheaper to do it now, but you know, I can't ask people to pay for something we can't use. We just can't justify it, I'm sorry. The article passed unanimously. Next on the agenda was to continue the discussion of Article 1, the Periodic Charter Review Report and Recommendations. As voted on the first night, the discussion picked up with a motion by planning board member and resident Frank D'Urso whether or not to make town treasurer an elected position. A town, it's just we've grown to a point that this can't be. It's just too much money, too much oversight. And it kills me that, you know, I want to take this away from, you know, as an elected, but it needs to stay the way it is. Thanks. The motion was defeated by a call vote. All those in favor of the amendment as presented signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. Nay. Okay, and it's defeated. The next piece of business was a motion by a resident from day one to make the town manager have a residency requirement. Selectman Claire Wright recommended the town manager should not be a resident due to possible conflicts of interest. In fact, I would suggest a requirement that the town manager not be a resident of the town. And in my opinion, the town manager is employed by the town of Hopkinton. Just the way EMC is your employer or General Motors is your employer, you work for that entity um, to promote their interest to the best of your ability. And um, being a resident adds a layer of conflict that I think is a very dangerous thing for this town. Um, these kind of amendments, when we get to the point of voting for the charter, um, they will be a deal breaker for me. The motion to have a residency requirement for town manager fail. Uh, we will now vote on the amendment that has been proposed, which is to impose uh, a residency requirement on the town manager position. So a vote in favor would impose that residency requirement. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed? No. no. And it's clearly defeated. Lastly was another motion by Frank D'Urso to add a position to town government. Uh, the town on, um, on Budsman, which maybe can have a different name for her, uh, would have an elected person in place that would be able to oversee uh, issues and troubleshoot issues. Um, the function of the town on buzzer would be to direct the citizens to the proper town officer, board or committee to deal with the issue or concern of the citizen. Most residents did not believe this was necessary. I'll, I'll take a different tact. I want to know how much this position pays because it looks like a lot of fun. You just basically walk around town hall, <laughs> poke in, chat with Elaine, chat with Norman. 
and uh, you know, chat with all the fine citizens of Hopkinton. Uh, I think it'd be a lot of fun, so I would sign up. But seriously, um, I, don't, I don't think this is needed. I think it's duplicative. The Board of Selectmen, as Brian pointed out, are in this role already. The motion was defeated. Any opposed? No. no. Then it's defeated. After town meeting voted on the article itself, town moderator Thomas Garabedian called for a standing vote, which overwhelmingly passed. Center back zero. Left one. Right <laughs> Right of center zero. And it's almost unanimous and so voted.